Everybody reach all the time yeah. in your pocket future times. Everybody Ridge Wallet is the wallet of the future. It's the wallet for the moment. It's the wallet I wear and I use. Mm-hmm. Um, it is f- future time, guys. Look at what it looks like over yeah. here. Look at that. It's slick, titanium, and um, or aluminum or carbon fiber. I was gonna get into that, <laughs> but I guess it. you know I I, I don't know how to say those words, so I was you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm being honest, guys. You know, I if we, I said this before. For years, I was using this Seven Eleven um, yeah. one. It was falling apart, and uh, and the Ridge Wallet just literally. I have it in my pocket right now. Has changed my life. All the um, cards fit in to this perfectly, like this, right? This you can't scan. What do you call it? RFID. RFID protection, right? I put a dollar here. I have a dollar to my name. But this, Wait, why even even if you have one dollar here, this is what I wanted to show, right? It's so tight, mm-hmm. you know, it doesn't slip away, and um, I'm just very honored to um, be sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Tell them about it. So, guys, go to RidgeWallet.com and use the promo code TigerBelly for Ooh, 10 knives. Ten percent. Oh wait, before we and oh that? my god, we got a Ridge Wallet knife. Get out! Look of at here. this knife, guys. Look at this thing. Pop a balloon. And then this right here is this for money? There's a money clip here on the side. <laughs> Who wants the stab? Your pocket. Oh, that, oh, really? Oh, oh. Yeah. Stab people and cl- <laughs> oh, hold your oh, money. Oh, I thought that was for your money. Why did you stick money on a knife? Look well, at this is, pretty gangster. Yeah, this right gangster. here, guys, Craftsmanship. Is, is a great knife. Cut the cake. To cut, you can cut <laughs> Ooh, cakes cut with cake. it. Cut the cake. You can also cut human skin. Cut the That's cake, true. babe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. true as well. No, I'm not going to cut it with this but because it's a brand new <laughs> knife. But this knife is slick and beautiful. And this little thing isn't for money. It's for your pocket and for your jeans. So go, slide in there. so go to RidgeWallet.com and use the promo code TigerBelly for 10% off. They're slick, slim, delicious, and they can cut skin if it's a knife. That's RidgeWallet.com, <laughs> promo code TigerBelly. <laughs> but don't cut skin because we're, no, no, we're a comedy don't show. We're a comedy, <laughs> show. we're a comedy show. We're a comedy show. Don't even do that. Don't, don't even do think it. about it. LOL, LOL, LOL. LOL. All right. Enjoy Ridge, Ridge, Ridge Wallet, Ridge the best, Wallet, thing, best thing, thing in your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tiger Belly Podcast. We are talking very quiet right now. Um, if you're watching on video, um, as you can see right now, it is very dark in the room. There are some light-up balloons. There are regular balloons. There is Bryce in the corner. There is George uh, by the camera. Are you in the shot, George? Wave your hand somewhere. People know you're here. There's his hand. Can't see shit. It's too dark. Um, we're going to probably cut this part, but you know, no, it's actually we'll be, you're, cu- you're creating the scene. I'm creating the scene, so how dare you for audio listeners. Oh, shit, man. I was still texting people, you know, I'm trying to, we're trying whisper- to make well, some surprises Here's why we're happen. whispering. It's Bobby's birthday today, and Kalilo took Bobby out for a dinner at a fancy Italian restaurant and took him for dessert to stall time for us to set up the room. And we're going to surprise Bobby and go directly in the podcast. So we're going to leave the cameras running. We're going to leave the audio, uh, all the mics hot so that you guys can join us on this experience of surprising our leader, our captain. There is no chance we cut out any dead time. You're going to hear all of what's happening. It's going to be live and exciting. You know, every minute, you're going to get to hear it. You know, well, we like wonder if they're, no, they're not at the door right now. We didn't hear a thing. Wait, but so gonna, what, you, we did get a text though, right? Yes, that we did text, get a text. Tell the audience what the text said. The text said, we're in the basement. So they're in the basement. They're pro- probably in an elevator right now. I assume they've had enough time to get out of the elevator. Wait, light the candles out, Al. No, no, no. You, you fucking no, 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 idiot, no, no. Gilbert. No. You but, fucking numbnuts. Wait, what if he walks directly in here? What if he walks directly in then here? Then it's better than the fucking water going off because these set off a smoke alarm. Do you see how many fucking candles there are? That's not saying Those smoke. candles. Where, show me where the alarm is. Look at it. Can- Look at the alarm. Look at those the, candles. No. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not here. Those Bobby candles. took it out because he didn't want to fill the battery. You're, 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 Okay, Bobby just entered in right now. <laughs> they're trying to light the candles. I told him to fucking shut up, Kelbert. Now they're missing. Okay, Bobby. You get your camera. Shh. You're the camera. Dude. Shh. Shh. Turn the camera. Oh, I've got one. Ca- I've got one candle lit. Let me put my camera on. Okay. I'm recording. Okay, Bobby's here. The dogs are here. Um. Damn it! I, I don't know why I have to be the one that's I can doing hear, this. I can hear Kalila, but um. But this is what this is what we do for our, our captain, for our, our leader, our young. We um we bought a bunch of Red Bulls, but uh oh, he's coming. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Captain! Happy 
Happy birthday to you. Guys, we are on the Tiger Belly Podcast. You were with us for 20 minutes while we set this up. Bobby is in the room. The king himself, our leader, he's very happy. This is the happiest I've ever seen him. <laughs> he's not annoyed by any of this. Um, Kalila's here as well. The podcast um, is... Bobby, how do you feel? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what we have for you is some Red Bulls, uh, some Dream Water, some glue. This is not how I wanted to start. <laughs> you don't want a cake? Well, I don't know. What kind of cake is it? Uh, uh, well, first of all, can I say this? I was genuinely surprised. Yeah! Now ask me this question. Am I happy? <laughs> ask are you, me if I'm happy. Uh, Bobby, are you happy? No. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Are there actually 47 candles on there? Holy it's 47 fuck, candles. Too many. It's too many. Yeah, but can I say it. this? Well, not after I burn this one out. Then I've got to use a whole candle to light the rest it of them. Shut up for something. It's my fucking birthday. It's birthday, And you're hogging the mic, dude, with your fucking voice. Oh, you don't even know what was happening before you showed up. Sorry, sir. What happened? So you already sh- you started you started the podcast already? Yeah, about eight minutes ago. And what did you guys talk about? Uh, it was just us setting up and then j- just George talking the whole time. Hey, you- <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. What was he talking about? Uh, hey guys, so something you know, thinking about candles. They can uh, they can turn off the, they can turn off the fire alarms if we light too real? many. <laughs> because he said the fire alarm would go off. I said there's no fucking fire alarm. The, oh yeah, he ripped them all off. The it, 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 here's the mystery. I came in the house yeah. and I go, why are the dogs trapped in the bedroom? And what did I say? And you're like, well, you said something about, oh, well, Rami probably figured out how to get in there. Right? How good of an actor am I? Wait, what were you expect? Were, are they not supposed to be trapped? No, when we come in the house, they're not in the bedroom. We we, we lock them, them out. The we keep them out in the living room. Mm. So that was mystery number one. Interesting. And then number two was like, um, did somebody walk the dogs? No. I don't know. Oh. Maybe Kalila? <laughs> because when I came in, I'm like, should I walk the dogs? And she's mm-hmm. like, you don't have to, which is... Really weird. <laughs> like what? She usually is like, yeah. "Babe, walk the dog." And secondly, um, the thirdly is is that um, I've been getting some weird gifts from just Kalila gave me a Brazilian spray. You, you, what do you mean? I didn't get it out of the blue. You Sorry. wanted it. I understand that. I, Whitney Cummings was wearing a Brazilian spray. Yeah. A, a month ago. I don't know what that is. It's some sort of fucking body spray. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. you know, have you guys ever used, I use a, a lotion called the Bum Bum Cream. Yeah. It's like a Brazilian brand and I love it. And he comes home one day and he's like, Whitney Cummings smelled really good today. <laughs> and I want the same, <laughs> you know, I want the same body spray. Yeah. Yeah. So I got him the same body spray. And yeah, but I, yeah, I, I understand that, but I didn't want it for my birthday gift. <laughs> hey, do you want to blow out those I'm candles? Blow oh, yes, I'm going to blow Sing it again. Sing it again. Sing it again. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. You, 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 you. Happy birthday, dear Captain. You're going to die soon. Hurry up. It's the Oh, wow! You're gonna die soon because you get it all. It's pure wax. It's all wax. It's all the cake. Cake. The yeah. cake is wax now. Oh my you god. I mean? what, is oh. it ice cream cake? Uh, no, no. no it's a... That's... I wanted ice cream cake! I we requested just... that. Uh, anyway, we just um, got thank you for it. ice cream. I know. That's what she told us. That she, that's why she took you to dessert. <laughs> we were like, can you please take him to dessert? That she... was another strange <laughs> thing. Like, why would. You're like. You guys usually want to come home, or you're saying you, you always say you're getting diabetes, or some sort of thing, <laughs> and I'm like I can get desserts. My birthday, that's great. So I got that. I got a spray. Thank you for the spray, babe. And then I also got a gift from Warner Brothers, right? Yeah. So Warner Brothers, it's CAA Warner Brothers delivered it to you. Delivered door. to my house. Very fancy. It comes in a comes in a box. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Wow. Now this is I got the Brazilian spray. I'm grateful for that. But this is where the this is where the real shit is. I open it up. Right, and I'm grateful. So, you know, Warner Brothers or whoever's involved, you know, and it's it's a carrying case for suits. <laughs> uh, I've seen you wear so many suits. <laughs> I know, but it's you know, like for travelers. Yeah. And I, I I think this is just the thing that they give actors male because they think that we were all wear suits like stock, like a stock thing. Oh, like stock they have a, a warehouse of like oh here's all our male actors. Give yeah. Me a suit. So this year yeah. it's all suits. Suit carrying mm. cases. Yeah. Right? So I got that, which I'll never use, but thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, And then brother. I think, who gave me this dream water? 
That's just that's her, me. our stuff, yeah. The powder hasn't quite arrived yet, a, <laughs> so I had to go with what was available. Wait, wait, so the, you ordered powder for me? Yes, Where sir. is it? It's in the mail. Oh, God. I mean, <laughs> all right, so this is what you got. You got this at the store for me? Yes, sir. So this is your gift to me. Mm-hmm. Thank you, George. You're welcome, Is son. it better You're... than my gift? It's up. It's probably fifty. It's a, it's up there. What, Gilbert? What'd you get? It's coming. <laughs> it's. I ordered on the mail. What are you talking about? Only one person can use that excuse. All right, okay. you can't use the mail excuse. And, I, I, and, and I will. I will not be angry. If you're just completely and utter honest with me, I will right. say. Just I look bought, at me right now. Just say. Just I'll look tell you, at me. Can I tell you what I got? Yeah. You? This is not your gift, but I did get it. Is the waters, the bows, the balloons, the glow up balloons, uh, the glow in the light balloons. Oh. And the, and the ambiance. So now, I got you the ambiance. So you're welcome for the ambiance. So you're welcome. You're welcome, even, you're welcome even for the ambiance. <laughs> I got you a suit holder. You got me nothing. The suit holder's coming. Bryce, what'd you get me? <laughs> wah, wah, wah. My love, my love for you. Your love. <laughs> oh God. You know what he said, he goes, my love, my love. Uh, uh, my yeah. love. Adrian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, hang on one second. Yeah. Um, <laughs> name one gift I've gotten you in the last five years of our relationship. The alien doll. Yeah, but wh- how do you even know that that's what I got you last? Because I remembered it, no, lady. What the, the fuck? <laughs> no, in the car, I asked him, "What did I get you last year?" Yeah. He goes. Oh, it's a thought that counts, babe. It's <laughs> and I was like, what did I get you the year before? Nothing. He won't remember. Even if you get him a brand new car or Brazilian body spray, he's not going to remember. It doesn't matter because I don't I don't function like normal people, all right? See, it's not about me remembering. It's just the act, right? It's like it's a check. It's a check in my heart. Mm. So my birthday arrives, right? I do what I did today. I looked through all my messages. Yeah, and I memorized who sent me a personal. <laughs> you know what I mean? A personal happy birthday. Who's the fancy? Who's you? the fanciest one? Do you say thank I got, you? Yeah, I got. Because Roger said I, he never heard back Bill from you. Bill Sex Transport? That's probably Bill Poon. Oh, that's it. Okay, so <laughs> thank you, Bill. Mm-hmm. Um, I got Bill. Um, let me see who you didn't. My manager, me. Lindsay Price, texted me. Sandy Look. Danto. That's my stepdad. You didn't hey, even good. save his number. That hurts my feelings. Shut up, babe. <laughs> Happy save belated. It under I, I will later. Um, Candace Thompson. Um, that's it. Paul Choi, my cousin. Matt Blake, my agent. Anyway, it's it's an uninventable number. It's forty-seven. Fifty is gonna be nuts, though. Fifty is the, the death one. That's where. Uh, that's like the yeah, death yeah, one. yeah. You open that door. Yeah, well, who's quick? is somebody else coming in? No, not that no. we know of. Yeah. No, Wait, no, are we getting no. another surprise? People are full oh, of surprises God. today. This is a dog, sweetheart. <laughs> but 47 is a... Um, Can you put them in the bedroom, George? Yeah. How do you look at that? 47. How old are you? 29. Oh, my God. How Last does that week? feel? Okay. I think like 30. I think... I am feeling a little bit like, whoa, 30. Mm-hmm. 30's around the corner. 30 ain't shit. But it yeah. ain't shit, though. But the, Think about 50 coming around the corner. <laughs> that's that's shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's some shit. F- oh, my mom's calling. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, let, let, let me go call my mom. That's interesting. Speaker. Hello? Oh, uh, somewhere home, Mom. Hey, Mom. Oh, uh, happy birthday. Thank you, Mom. Did you get my message? I got your message. Sorry, Mom. I didn't text you back, but I loved it. I, you know I read it. I know, I know. <laughs> Where are you? How's Dad? Oh, he's fine. He's getting... I'm not getting better, but his behavior good, you know. His behavior is good. Mm. Not for, you know. Is he pooping on himself? Yeah. Not poke too bad, you know. No, is he pooping on himself? <laughs> He poops on himself. What do you mean, poop? Poop, poop, <laughs> poop. Dong, poop. shit. Dong. Yeah. He, he does. All, he has all, you know, that uh, little toilet. Oh yeah, the toilet. Yeah. Okay. In front of the chair, you know. All right, so you don't have to clean up any poo then. Well, I have to do. <laughs> I have. I have to do, but not not like you know used to do with the hand fingers. Oh yeah, you used to put your fingers in his butthole. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate it. You hate it, huh? Tell us more about it. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, so he's he's good, you know, not walking, but except that he's a perfect. And he's talking and everything. No, no. He's not even talking. <laughs> no, you know, he's like I don't understand. So I have to yell. Oh, at him. that's so sad. You don't what understand. What did you say? And you know, yeah. Just, just say, Go slow. You know. Yeah, you yeah. Know, like, so, and he got mad sometimes. He, he said, gets, Why don't you understand me, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
he doesn't know he don't talk funny. So. Yeah. Yeah, e- except. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mom? Mom? She died. <laughs> My mom died on it. Okay. Call her back. What is that? What is that? Oh, we have a gift from. We have a gift from Jade Cataparetta. Wait, Jade Cataparetta got me a pizza. She sent you a pizza. Thank you. Oh her. my god. On Thank air. you, Jade Cataparetta, for the pizza. I gotta call my mom yeah, back. I think she mom. died. Call your mom. That's how it's so oh, scary. There she is. There she is. Mom. Oh, uh, I'm still. Did you hang up on me? No, I didn't. It hang up itself. How does the phone hang up itself? <laughs> magic, magic. Magic. It's a magic phone. Birthday, so it's a magic day. It's a magic day. That's why these phones just hang up on each other. I'm at home right now. Um, I'm doing. Not Las Vegas. Somebody called me from Las Vegas. Yeah. I hung up and called again. I hung up and then you know I said maybe there was Bobby who you know I thought you were in Las Vegas. You know. How did you know the guy was calling you from Las Vegas in the first place? You know the number. It said it on the phone. Yeah, it shows a number, but no names. You know, but you know. Oh yeah, everywhere. Mom, everywhere. Uh. was I a bad son? You no, you are not bad son. You no, but in the, as a kid though, was I bad? Yeah, but you know, I coped with it. You, know? you coped with it. Yeah, <laughs> but that's a teenager thing. Every teenager doing that, you know, like that. I'm sorry for stealing so much money and doing crystal methamphetamine. No. Okay. You had, you had to. Be- you pay back now. I did pay it back, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I did a lot of crystal meth and I jacked off in your bath yeah. bathroom and everything. I, mean, I cry and everything, you know. Yeah. I thought that was the end of the world. Yeah, I know, but when you and dad were at work, I would jack off in your bathroom. I know. I, no, don't, tell, don't tell me that. I, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Because most of the thing I don't want to, you know. You don't want to think about it. But you're a good boy. You I know. know. Everybody, everybody say you are the best. Boy. I'm the best boy now or late? Now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in Korea, or state here, nobody had parents like that. Oh, I hope my parents, yeah. Yeah, so you had, you know, even criminals, you know, you have a good son. No, it's all the guilt from all the jizz in your bathroom, mom, um, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that Steven there too? No, Steve's not here. I'm with uh, my girlfriend and some friends, and we're just, uh, Drinking some coffee and uh, oh, we have a little oh, cake, okay. but you know I like talking to you, mom. I know. Did you buy a house? Yes. No, yeah, I got. Re- <laughs> okay, mom. I, we got rejected. Really? Why? We don't have the money, so. Um, oh, okay. You know, don't don't rush it. I'm not gonna rush it, but you <laughs> know. You have a house. You have a house. Yeah, know? but I, I have six animals now. You know that, right? Just send me some. You you would take care of the f- animals. Oh, just a dog, not cat. Why? Why not the cat? I have an allergy. Oh yeah. Remember you know, what? I got no. I got rashes and I can breathe. You can't breathe. You know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I have hard to breathe. You know. Yeah. But dog is okay. You know. Yeah. Remember? But, remember, Dad used to rage out. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember those days? Yeah. Oh. Well, it was a long time. You know, he's now like a lamb. Oh, he's lame now. Yeah. But he used to I mean, come into the be- our bedroom well, naked was, with a yeah. oh, uh, with yeah. the toilet paper sticking out of his ass and beat us with and a Casio. He, you know, he, he throw the dishes, you know. He throw dishes, he yeah, throws yeah. At, at me, he, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I went upstairs and locked the door. Yeah. And then he slide the paper, you know, letter. I'm sorry, I won't do it. Again. He already said he doesn't do it again, you know, but he did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. doesn't drink. Yeah, doesn't yeah. Eat. No, but he's a good boy now. Uh, he's I'm a good because yeah, he's he's I have he's. Him because he had a stroke, he, mom. He yeah, can't he talk. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Anyway, mom, I'm on a podcast, so I'm gonna call you later. Okay. <laughs> Love you. No, 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 I want to say one more thing about daddy. Okay. He had. I mean, he gave me good money. Never complain about how I spend. Yeah. That's why I have, and you know, I don't have any complain about it. I know. Dad was a good you know, dad. You're a good mom. Sorry for jerking yeah, off in your bathroom. I love you, mom, I'm, so much. I'm the only woman for him. I know, mom. Okay. I, I'm on a podcast, so I gotta go. Okay. Okay. I love you. I'll call you. I'll call you. I'll call you, I'll call you later. That's okay. 
I love you, mom. I love you so much. I love you. Bye. Bye. Give it up for Bobby Lee's mom, everyone. Wow, we have another. That was, that was... We have another caller, and it's like these are schedules or something. It's like someone it's had like the gift. These are schedules. Wait, wait. It's, it's, like, it's, it's wait, like someone wait, wait, came wait, up with this idea. It's like someone gave the gift of scheduling. So is this? Is was my mom? Was my mom scheduled? Yes. By you. Yeah, we were all coordinating it hey, with my happy mom. Happy birthday, Bobby Reby. We just talked to mom. Happy the, birthday. Do you, do you, does <laughs> anybody <laughs> in my family listen? Happy birthday. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, man. I love my brother. All right. Oh, so sounds high. <laughs> yeah. You all right? I you so, yeah, I love you so much. Okay. What else? Oh, oh, I love you so much. I know. But, I know. Did you... Did you give me a gift? Yeah, I got it. It's in my backpack. I can't wait to see you later. Well, I got to go to sleep early. I have a table read in the morning. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay, well, hey, hey, call me up after the show. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. okay that was not, that was pointless. <laughs> uh, yes. Who else? Steve uh, prepped your mom. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. why my mom called. I had to give your, to me. Um, we, I have to give your mom's number to him, him get, and then I had, we Steve. had Steve prepped by these guys because I knew that if I just called your mom right away she'd probably be confused so I had to have Steve well that was a weird that was strange because he's she's never called me this late and when she called I thought dad was dying or something well, really yeah, oh, well, for, that's not how we want happy, you to birthday. Call, <laughs> happy birthday well I know but she never calls me yeah. at this not at this time so in my head it's always an emergency yeah so um scared me but that's fine that was a ple- pleasure <laughs> yeah thank you for you guys so did extra stuff today yeah man that's of incredible do you, still feel, do you feel a little special now um, I felt good about the dinner that you took me to. How was, well, the, how was the restaurant? Oh, we have um, leftovers for you. That's a fancy Italian restaurant. I know yeah, we that had is. Yeah, we went to a really fancy place. <laughs> it was almost too, too fancy. fancy that it, as soon like as... dress code wise? No. no. It's like, it, you know, Cheese Baca, it's, yeah, it's, it's Baca. almost like it only seats 20 people. Very small, yeah. And um, yeah. we had this um, char- charcuterie board, but at the end of the charcuterie board is this deep fried meat something. She explained it, and then we weren't really listening. It just looked like a really perfect like crab cake, but it looked wasn't perfect. Yeah, yeah. I had it. I had it first. Uh-huh. Yeah. I I liked it because I like everything. But, but then, then after at- I took a bite, I looked at him and I said, "Don't eat this. This is too advanced for your palate." What does that even and mean? And she was like, "Because I know him." I know, like, me, I eat blood sausages, I eat dinuguan, I eat tripe, I eat menudo, I eat everything, so I nothing gets to me. Funky. I said, don't eat this because it's too advanced for you. He's like, what does that even mean? Yeah, it's like, it. What it, it's a ligament cake. <laughs> that's that really what it tasted like, like. A ligament cake? You, you bit into it, oh, that's a squirrel's elbow. I mean, like, kind of crunchy and, like, not meat, but also fat, but bone. Wait, what? Is but, so the flavor is not meat. It's like it. It was. I think it cart- just had a lot of cartilage, like yeah. ground up cartilage. But then it was really gaps tasty. In, there's like meat. little gaps in there, and you go, oh, there's a you know little gap when your your teeth are going. Oh, I, and then you chew down. It's fat. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was delicious. Textural. <laughs> yeah, it's a textural thing that I know he's not really into. Uh, yeah, I'm not fancy in that he way. He was so thrown off. That right after that, because <laughs> we were supposed to have dessert and everything there. Right? Yeah. He's like, I got to go to Baskin Robbins. <laughs> to reset. Yeah, to reset. He's like, yeah. like, I just got to get back to the meat and potatoes, the things yeah. that I know. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, I, I will do bone marrow. I will do, yeah, yeah. you know, some of the fancier things. Maybe to people listening right now, that's not fancy. Mm. But to me, like frog legs or snails mm-hmm. or, you know, ligament cakes. Are like you know a little fancy for my palate. Mm-hmm. I need to reset it with some like Olive Garden or you know what I mean. <laughs> I get it. But then you Cheesecake had the fatty. you yeah. had yeah. the pork chop. The pork. I mean the pork chop was unfucking real. In what way? It was unreal. But the greatest thing happened afterwards. What? So we're going. We're at the valet. Uh huh. And this old white man was there. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Right. <laughs> this old white man and he I goes. I love this story already. Yeah. This old white man goes. Loved you on that show. That's what he says. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I go, what show is that? What show? It's like, love. I go, cool, thanks. Yeah, you're really like, you know, quirky or I don't know. I go, yeah, yeah, I'm on a new show. That's why I asked, you know, what show are you on now? And I told him, you know, and he goes, oh, well, so you're not available. I go, yeah, I'm not probably not available to do anything. He goes, I want to chase you. To be in projects. And then his wife was like, yeah, chase him. Yeah, yeah, his wife is Asian. 
and I got his name, and he's like a huge yeah. writer producer. Guy. Like, oh, it wasn't aliens. just a random. No, 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 no. I think like a the, real guy. I think you said the white valet guy. No, no, no. He was <laughs> no, like he was no. like a, a couple Wait. of movies he wrote with J.J. Abrams. You know his name? Or? Yeah, we want. We want. So I don't want to say his name, but I'm just saying that Al Magical's calling. Oh, interesting. Did you? Is that set up? I don't know, Bobby. It's your boss. Hello. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, is this? Are we fired? Are this. we fired? Al, Al, is this set up, or did they tell you to call, or is this? This is no, bullshit. No, 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 no. I was thinking about you. Uh, <laughs> oh no, you weren't. You never <laughs> called me. You fuck. You fucking asshole. What are you? Are did you, you, you anything or something? No, I'm not an Emmy thing. I'm doing my podcast right now. You shut up. <laughs> yeah. No, they'll be honest with me. Al, did they say did they set this up? No, I was just actually coincidentally I was going through um, the Wikipedia section of your uh, and I found a bunch of stuff. Robert Young Lee Jr., American actor birthday. And I pulled it up. Yeah. I didn't know your parents wanted you to take over the family. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then, yeah, how is did the show how, the, how are the how are the kids? How is Kristen? How is everything? Everybody's great. Okay, Thank and you. and um, are we fired off? Of, is that what you're calling? That we're firing Tiger Belly, letting board, us go? No, why do you always say that? It's, a, it's because I want to be a part of it. That's why. Top seven podcasts that we have. What? Yeah, thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. That's all I want to <laughs> hear out of the boss's seven. mouth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You saw the I commission animation for. To have you riding a unicorn or whatever that was, and, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's the best show we got. Ooh, oh, oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. But, <laughs> yeah. Also, congratulations on Night School. When does that come out? Yeah. That comes out on the 28th. I know with Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, I was gonna, exciting. I was gonna plug that for you, dude. Thank you. Yeah. That's not what I was calling though. I'm really calling to, to say happy birthday. It's Thank so you. Exciting. You were really. I mean, when I started, I will tell this story. When I did start coming to the comedy store, it was like 2004, easily one of, or the nicest comedian to me, um, it was like you and Kevin Christie right away, uh, friends for life, love you, and uh, so happy with the sitcom, because you know, the I have the same thing going on, it's like the ups and downs of this thing, Oh no. and um, things are so great, so um, congratulations. Wait, you know, also, can I say this is that, you know, I've I've seen your career and um, I've seen you have shows and not. But you know what, dude, at the end of the day, it's like we're still going to not quit and keep going. And I think that's the yeah. that's the key of it all. No. OK, no, we're in too deep. What are we gonna we're go way to? too deep. And um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, Al, thanks for the call. I really Al, thanks yeah. for the call. I really appreciate it. And congratulations sure. on night school. And um, I hope it's a very big success for you. And uh, Kristen wants to have you guys over for dinner. So make Korean. Please do it for, soon. Please, it. Please do it soon because I, I want to okay. do it. All right. All right. I love you. All right. Bye. All right. Love you too. And that was a great call. That call was sponsored by Blue Apron. Blue, Blue Apron, Apron, the tastiest food you'll ever have. Yum. You guys, um, for years I've been like eating like crap um, until a heaven in a box appeared. Wow. Blue Apron. Let, let's guys, I feel better. The food is delicious. It's great, you know, recipes. Easy, right proportions. Yep. Comes right to your door. Um, some of it's exotic. Um, like this week. Like this week. Tell them Asiago's about this week. Asiago's mother chicken and beef bok choy stir fry. Yeah. And the cool part about it is that it, you just download the app. Oh. And you can choose which weeks to have a box come to your door. There's also a vegetarian option for someone like me. But I cook for him, so I get the meat stuff. Um, but yeah, you just do it on the app and everything you need right at your fingertips. And the food's awesome. And the honest truth is, is that I can make it. Yep. But yeah, it, it is. It's foolproof. It's foolproof and it's easy. It's really good food. And um, I'm telling you uh, right now, if you're a man on the go or a woman and you're a woman and a man go on the go, you know, you this is something that can really change your life. It's it's, it's great food. And I, I know so many comedians that use um, Blue Apron that um, it's just hard, you can't say no to it. It's the best. 
So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash belly. That's blueapron.com slash belly to get your first three meals. Look, guys, if you're a man or woman on the go, Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Yum. Oh, and back to the show. Okay, tell me right now who else is calling. I don't know. I don't, I don't I'm know. Not, I'm not picking up the phone again. Bobby! You have don't to know. pick up. We don't know. I don't know. Okay, you swear to God on your life you don't know. I don't know who's no, calling. No, we can't swear on anything. Do you, we don't do, swear do, around Joe, here. George, tell me right now who's calling Keep in. Keep in mind, he called you Joe. I, have, no, I, I, I can't say for sure. <laughs> you, you 100% can't say for sure. That actually is kind of true. I can't, yeah. you can't you say can't for say sure. So how, 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 did the, how did Al, get, how did all this happen? It people have that fun. Hard. Magic. Magic. You know, it's not that hard to get people There's, to want to. I know, but so somebody must have a list of people who's going to call in. You guys are saying that, you, this is what you're going to say. I, I we have list. no idea who the fuck Look, I have a list. Listen, I had, had a list. list, he had a list, he had a list. Yeah. Your mom was me. Yeah. Okay, maybe two other people are me. Yeah. One other person, yeah. maybe. Gilbert had his list, and we all exchanged numbers of who had whose number. Right. Yeah. That's it. Well, that's, it feels good. Yeah. And yeah. It feels good, and... um. You know, you know, it's not as depressing. Yesterday I was super depressed. I don't know why. I mean, I, I was. No, he didn't even want me to have. Yeah, I just, with I, yeah, I just kind of drove after the oh. store. Are you like I that? I drove around town. And I was just like, well, I would you know, drive by a brick wall. So I just ran into this brick. You know what I mean? This is before and, every birthday. You go, kind well, of, yeah, this I, is I, before he came home to a Brazilian body spray. Yeah. After uh, the Brazilian body spray, his spirits. Did you? Yeah, yeah he was it way happy. It yeah, pepped, pepped me, me up. He pepped him up. I like the smell of it, but um, <laughs> I really do like the smell of it. But um, every birthday, you do the day before, you're just kind of. It's not that. What it is is it. What it is is this, and I do. I do a couple of things. Mm-hmm. I go on my Instagram to feel shitty and good. It's mm, not you good. Want, you want to feel shitty. Well, you, this accident because who you follow, right? So oh, it's like. Okay. You know, like today I saw <laughs> today I saw Jimmy O Yang at the Emmys. Yeah, it kind of made me feel sad. <laughs> I don't know why it just put me in a bad mood. Oh, you saw a picture? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's having a good time. Yeah, he put it's me in a bad mood. Put time. me in a bad mood. And then um, really, that guy like loves you. I know, I love him too. And we were doing a movie together. That oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish Dragon. It's it's great. But then um, so the, I'm just being real. I, I'm I'm not. At 47, Papa doesn't hide. Yeah. I just say however or whatever I feel, okay? And then, um, but then I'll go to like, I'll see like dad in a dressing room, like at a, at a clothing store, take a photo of a jacket makes that he's happy. wearing, and it makes me happy. happy. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, that's, it's, you know. Yin and yang. Yin and yang. That's an emotional roller coaster. It's not deep highs and lows. It's like a bipolar. It's just a fun little ride. But then it's like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we... He had a damn near conniption earlier because he's like, the comedy store didn't put up an Instagram to say happy birthday to me. <laughs> yeah. And so he called Adam. I called Adam yelling. What did you say? Please and he goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes, look at the post before today's. And I looked at it and it was a video, but I didn't know I was in the video, but they did say happy birthday. <laughs> So I so yelled, yelled, at him for, I yelled, yelled at him for no fucking reason at all. <laughs> well, I was going because he they put Jimmy Carr a week ago. In my head, I'm like, I like Jimmy Carr, but he's not. He's there twice a year. Mm-hmm. I'm there every night, right? So I was thinking, where's mine? But then it was up, and then I made myself look like a fool. But you know what? I'm not embarrassed by stuff like that because I'm a feeler. Mm. You know, and I wear everything on my sleeve, and I make mistakes, and I'm a fool. The other night, uh, one of those things happened again. What? Where a white man told me what to do, and I did what he said to do. I thought you said you weren't going to do that. I know, anymore. but I just, I and I was mad for like three blocks. Please set it up, the the scenario. I was at the comedy store. I was driving. I'm standing, sitting there at, at the stoplight, like on Sunset in Fairfax. And I was like, I picked up my phone, right? Because Eric Griffin had texted me. And I get a honk. I'm at a red light. And I look over, and it's this white guy wearing a like a baseball, some college baseball hat. Like He's probably boy. 50 year old white oh. guy, white hair. Wearing, you know, he dressed like Ron Howard. He had the baseball cap, but then a nice shirt, right? And he goes, roll down your window. So I thought it was going to be like, I love you on love. Or whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> what are those? What you else are you mean? doing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, big fan. Keep yeah. it up or whatever. And I've yeah. done that before. Yeah. So roll down, I smile at him. He goes, put your phone away. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I go, yes, sir. 
and I put it down <laughs> and he drove off. Then the light turned. He drove off and I drove for three blocks. Yes, sir. I was angry at yourself. Like he's your master? But you don't know. Maybe his kid died from like a... Oh. I don't give a f- Driving but you do. Hey, but you do, Bobby. You but you do. Yeah, but you should. I know. Oh, <laughs> here's another one. Who Eddie it? Lee. Who did this one? I don't know who's that. It's my cousin. Oh, I know. I know he's your cousin. Uh, I heard your favorite. Hello. What up? <laughs> now, did they tell you to call or what? <laughs> you saw the text message, dude. Why are you fronting? Like, why are you asking me that question? You no, know? no. I saw a te- you had you had a, you texted me. Let me read the text. Can we tell the audience? This is Eddie. Audience. Who, what? Who is this? Can we tell the audience? Oh, this is my cousin Eddie. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm reading it. All right, so you're you're calling in now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read the text thread. All right. Happy birthday, bud. <laughs> okay, good. where do you live? Here. Uh, you're no, still in I'm Sacramento. Sac- yeah, I'm still in Sacramento. What? Get the fuck out of Sacramento! <laughs> I like it here, dude. I know, dude. Ed, Eddie, I w- anyone uh, yeah, no Eddie story. Eddie Lee is my um, younger one of my younger cousins on my dad's side. He's my first cousin. Um, I, I I grew up with him and he's one of my favorites. He's like Steve. He he skateboards. He 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 looks like he's from data from the Goonies. He um, you know what I mean. He's not married. <laughs> well, you guys have that like young data from the Goonies kind of vibe. You know, okay. right? You still sense. skateboard, right? Yeah, I mean, I not old. I can't anymore because of my knee. But yeah, I, I was for up until about a year ago. Well, you don't you don't skateboard at all now. Dude, they won't fix my knee again. Maybe if he I was skateboard injured. Again and hurt he, myself. They he, straight told me I couldn't do it anymore. He told us in San Diego, remember? Oh, yeah, when yeah, he came in Jenny. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I remember. I remember. There, that's how that's because I was so fat because I couldn't do anything for a while. Oh man, how's your wife? You know. It's, she's my wife. I feel bad for her, you know? She's married to me. <laughs> I, I got nervous for a second. I was like, oh, you're on. Oh I thought you, I, I literally oh thought God. you were going to say, you know, she died. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, the cancer got her. Who says it like that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Steve, I got, I got, a, I got, a, there's another call. I got, a, I got, a, I got, a, love you, I love you, Eddie, okay? All right, bye. Who's this? Hello? Bobby. Stephen Byrne. Okay, who set this up? <laughs> who set up Steve about? Byrne calling? Yeah, I saw on Facebook. Uh, I I no, wait, wait. You saw on Facebook what? I saw it was your birthday. Somebody posted something. I was like, oh, I'll call you and say happy birthday. But you don't know you're on the podcast right now? No, I'm call- I'm surprised you even picked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Because here's the thing. Today they had set up a bunch of people <laughs> calling in, and so right now I'm on the podcast, and people are calling. Oh, in. oh okay. sorry about that. No, 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 it's great. This is great. This is, great. This is a great guess. surprise guest. This is not. This is not a part of the plan. Then. <laughs> I'm sorry. Happy birthday. Thank Robert. you so much, uh, Steve Bor- Byrne. If you guys don't know, he's a comic. Um, he's half Korean, very handsome, very talented guy. He just did a movie starring Jimmy O Yang, right? Yes. And, yes, and Steve yes. Byrne. And what was the mo- what's the movie called? Uh, the opening act. The opening <laughs> act, and um, yes. man, here we go. <laughs> you know what I mean, it was just good working with you. That's all. It was just good working with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is good that we're airing this out. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I'm kidding, dude. I I really do. I know the movie's gonna be great. How does it look? It looks great. It feels great. But it doesn't feel as good as our friendship because our, our friendship has deep, oh, deep foundation. So, <laughs> it, yeah. But can I, I just, can I say, say happy birthday? Can I just say this before for my fans and whatnot? Is that Steve Burton? You've yeah. always had my back. Um, when that whole Ken Jung thing happened in at Cobb's and he physically yeah. attacked me, you you're the one. <laughs> remember, you're the one that separated us. You're the one that calmed everything down. You're the one that flew me out there just to even try to do the fucking thing. And yeah. you've always had my back, and I really appreciate it. Well, I love you, and I'm sorry I'm calling during your podcast, but I want to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I love you, all right? Watch opening act. Good night, Good night Steve. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Do was Steve Burns? Was it, that was an accident? <laughs> He's part of it. None, none of us. What do you mean? One of us. One of us. Who did? One of us. That's him. What? Who? You called Steve Burns? 
When you'll never know. No, when man, you wow. just enjoy well, the gift. Why don't you enjoy the Why don't you just enjoy <laughs> the attention for the day? Because when he called, I'm like, oh, here's a war. <laughs> no. We're about to fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, when's the last time he ever called? <laughs> On your birthday yeah. today. I know, but I'm just saying it's like, in my head, it's like, oh, here's a war that's about to happen. Yeah, but you love him. I do love him. And he loves you. He loves me. <laughs> it's the key to life. The key master. Yeah. But you know the honest truth is, yeah. is that um, at my age, you don't, you literally, you literally don't feel the age you're supposed to fucking feel, be. What well, does that lucky mean? for you. Well, I'm 47. If I, when I was 20 years old, 25 years old, mm-hmm. and you said 47, like I'm 47, like, oh, he's retiring. He's an old guy. You know what I mean? Oh, like in your right. head. Yeah. Mm. You know, you you also saw other forty seven year olds like, God damn, that guy's old. Yeah. But like for me, I don't I I I've there's I feel like a kid. You act like I a act kid. like a kid. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't know about responsibilities. Mm-hmm. I I get confused. And um why is there seventeen phone call missed? Did we miss some? I don't know. Have people been calling you today? Steve uh, my, Nick, oh no, okay. It might be from earlier, yeah. From earlier, yeah. Um, why don't you tell us about your weekend? Your fancy weekend with the, with, in the club. Oh, you guys, uh, I saw a picture. Emmys. In the club, babe. What club? The club. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went into the club. We Jesus, went into the club. that was a weird thing. We, we, <laughs> we went into the club. We went to the club. What's, what do you mean? What's the So, club? Uh, you know, every year, well, not every year. Since last year, <laughs> starting yeah, recently, um, CA, the agency that oh my agents, yeah. they have an Emmy party. So I wasn't going to go this year, but my agent in- insisted. So um, we, came, we we went to my manager's house. We went together, us three, and we walk in. And um, this was this year was a little different. It was in Venice. It was in Venice, and I know, but in just terms of the feeling, though. It didn't feel like last year. It was like, or yeah, was it? we're in the club. And then like this year, it felt like, did they? I think they don't want us in the club. <laughs> Is this yeah. a second party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are we a separate know, party? But we walk in. We see. Everyone was there. Well, everyone was there. I saw Jennifer Aniston. Damn. I saw Ron, uh, Howard. Ron Howard. I saw. Um, the guys from Queer Eye. Yeah, a bunch of people. So what's your guys' plan of attack? Is it like we just stand there, find our friends, and then let people come to us? Oh, or I'll you... tell you exactly our plan of action. Yeah. Um, we There was food out, and mm-hmm. there's giant plates of oysters, and people are supposed to take an oyster each. Yeah, fancy. Except we took the whole platter of oysters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we find a the, dark corner, the Asians, and we just we, eat a we, ton of oysters. We just ate like 52 or- oysters. And you know, I don't... There's... I am a vegetarian, but twice this week I've eaten meat yeah. to test out his ligament cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and because I was so uncomfortable at at a at the club, yeah. that I was like, I'm just gonna sit here and eat a shit ton of oysters. It's so funny because I didn't have that much fun until the end when I saw Crystalia. Like your friends, you know it's so you you're so right because it's like there's so many people around and you recognize everyone, right? Yeah. But as soon as you see even me, even seeing Chris D'Elia, made you who feel was, it's, it, it it's, was like the water, the seas it, parted. It, it, it's, he's it, Moses. Yeah, he's like no, Moses. It's not just that. It's just that you go. There's my comrade. Mm-hmm. Um, there's my chum. And there's he's equally my, as uncomfortable. Yeah, he he's sitting in a jacket with his hands in his pocket, standing <laughs> there, going, and he's out loud going, "This is." A, this is a, incredible, guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm having a fun. Like outwardly saying that but as a joke. Yeah. Right? And I, I hugged him and we just st- stood there because my manager and his manager, Becky, Dave Becky, were like talking and all that stuff. And then um, and then we leave because we had both had spots and something wonderful happened. Mm-hmm. The, this, you know, we're at the valet. The seas part. I have hit. He, Bobby is facing me. I'm out, facing yeah. the cars coming in. So Bobby has his back to the cars and has his back to guests coming towards him. I look over out of the car comes Trevor Noah. Damn. And I'm, obviously, I'm like, <laughs> like this. Because <laughs> yeah. now I'm thinking, oh shit, if he doesn't say hi to Bobby, it's going to absolutely destroy. Because Bobby, of the story. <laughs> yeah. because of how Bobby got his agent to, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, help back Trevor Noah day, yeah. back in the day and stuff. 
But the first thing, Trevor Noah recognized Bobby from the back. And wow. And I've never he seen the anyone sea, the sea is more excited to see Bobby that whole night. And he, it almost made me cry. Yeah, it was actually really <laughs> it, sweet. It almost made me cry. Tell us what he, he said. I want to hear everything. He, he, he just he, walked he, and he, gave me a hug. He walked towards Bobby. He turned Bobby's body around. Yeah. And he gave him the deepest hug. And then he goes to his entourage and he tells the whole story about when he was a kid in South, South Africa, Africa and he was a nobody. How Bobby um, called his agent to go see him and how he basically got his American career started because of Bobby. Wow. It was really sweet. He remembered it. Yeah, and it was, and he was just a. I go, yeah, I go there. No, I'm sad. No, I did nothing. I, it was inevitably gonna, you know what I mean? <laughs> he just inevitably. Gonna, yeah. But my point is, is this, okay? <laughs> in life, okay, is is that um, it's not that. It's just it was just good to see him because you have to understand when I was in South Africa, I hung out with him for two months straight, like every, every day. day. Yeah, yeah. Right, and he was not the Trevor Noah that people know today. Bill Burr's calling. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> What? Oh my God, Bill Burr. Uh, now this is a miracle. I mean, what the fuck, <laughs> Bill? Yes. Are you? <laughs> Bill, I mean, let me ask you something. Can you cover for me at the store? <laughs> <laughs> Bill, I mean, you've never called me. No, I, ju- I just need you to cover for me. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, I told um, you to wish you a happy Chinese New Year. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Bill, this is you know what? Out of, because I've been getting a lot of calls, and no offense to anybody that else is called, but this Uh-oh. is probably this is the, the this is the probably the most shocking one. Are you old enough to be the head of the dragon in the parade? <laughs> <laughs> you work your way up to the middle of the body. Where are you? I'm not quite there yet, but um. Happy birthday. Thank you, Bill. And, uh, you know, um, you calling in is like, it's kind of like a Sinatra moment to me. You know, in comedy, it's a a little It's kind of a Ron Howard moment. (laughs) (laughs) I wanted to say Ron Howard, but but, hey, Bill, also, um, thank you for calling. And also, I want to ask you if one day you would do our podcast. That'd be great. Hey, let's just, you know, start with, let's go slow here. (laughs) All right. That's why we never hang, dude. Pushy. <laughs> I know. I know. Can't I, just hang out I know. I, I, you're right. You're you right. A new closing joke where I keep my shirt on. <laughs> what do you want from me? No, I'll do your podcast. All right. Thank you. Where do you uh, Where do you record? We record at my house. I live in Hollywood. Oh. It's easy. Of course, you live in Hollywood. You big phony. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you? You live in Silver Lake. Where do you live? Why would I tell people where I live? <laughs> Silver Lake's a big place, Bill. I'm just glad they put the water back. No, I, I, don't, I don't live over there, no. Well, um, thank you so much for calling in, Bill. I love you, and uh, um, I'll I see you right soon. I'm next to LAX, so I have a nice quick commute <laughs> to get on another Southwest flight. Are you in town now, or are you on the road? Um, this is a lot of personal questions. What's your mom's maiden name? I feel like I'm calling a credit card company. I, I am in town. Okay, yeah. good. I love you, Bill. Thank you for calling. Yeah. I'm just wrapping it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sweating. You're wrapping up a happy birthday phone call. Sorry to intrude. <laughs> Bye, Bill. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore. Did you hang up on Bill? I hung, up on, I, I hung up on Bill Burr. Holy oh my shit. god! I couldn't do it anymore. Bobby and just hung up on Bill Burr. I didn't hang up. I just said goodbye. Oh my god! So who t- set that up? You did. T- you know, just hey, Eric uh, Griffin. Like, Here we go, Eric of- Griffin. <laughs> Eric, Eric Griffin. I wonder why he's calling. Hey, fatty. Oh my. <laughs> hey, fatty. You know, it's your birthday coming What? You get away with. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's my birthday. Why can't I call people fat? You think? No, you, you don't call people fat on your birthday. <laughs> the other 364 days of the year, you have to deal with that person. Oh, that's true. All right, sorry. <laughs> You're skinny. Well, how about this? Call me back. Call me back. I'll, I'm gonna pick up again. Are you gonna do this again? Yeah, yeah. Just call, call me right back. Call me right back. Yeah, you're right. I should I shouldn't open that way. <laughs> Oh, that was really bad. Let's see what he does yeah, this time. Here we go, here we go. Hey, Skinny. 
<laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. I... Oh my god. You're such a piece of shit. Anyway, you... <laughs> are you are you calling me for a happy birthday? Um, I guess. <laughs> That's why I'm calling. Yeah. No, for real, I am calling. Uh, I just wanted to say, you know, I love you, and happy 67th birthday, <laughs> and I hope you have. <laughs> I hope you have many more, and I think you should. You better marry Kalila quick before you like, topple over and die. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so thank you. I love you. Thank you. Come back on the podcast. Yeah, Come back on the podcast, okay? Come back. Why? You mean the podcast that we were supposed to do together? <laughs> huh? That's the podcast you're talking about? <laughs> All right, Eric. I love you so much. So many people calling, though. Um, Good night. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I can't do phone. Why do you keep hanging up I can't, on people? I can't do phone. I, honestly, it's like... You're doing great. You're but this reminds great. me of how, why I'm not good at phone. You know, you're... Yeah, he it's doesn't a, can, do... Can I just say this, too? Yeah. Is is that... You have to understand that Bill Burr calling... Yeah. My relationship with Bill, and he, I feel the same with Rogan, uh-huh. is my conversations with them are in and out. Yeah. I Hi, I hug. How's the family? Good, I'm out. But do you realize that... It didn't take much for him no, yeah. to call. I it's, understand. I understand that he doesn't. It's not going to take much. I mean, I could still. I consider him a friend, and I respect him yeah. and stuff like that. But I, I just think that he's so. He's like to me like a Chappelle. Like he's mm. the top of the game, and so for me, I can talk to a guy like Eric Griffin. Eric Griffin's as funny and as talented, but he's just not. You know, he, his. He's, His status isn't there yet. He's your class of 92. Right. Mm. Whereas Bill, when he first moved to LA, I went to his house and um, I brought him a gift, like a, a DVD of Old Boy. I don't know why. <laughs> Favorite movie. And I go, here, watch this, you know? And um, I met his, at that time, his girlfriend, his wife now. Um, and uh, I just get, um, I know it's like when I see, when I see Mitzi all the time or if I see... Like if I'm on Warner Brothers, I see the president, Peter Roth. He says hugs and he says hi, but I I don't. To me, it's like I can't. The longer in the conversation I'm in, the the more open I am. The more I, you think you're going to say something you shouldn't. Yes. Mm. Like it starts off first five minutes like you're impressive and then after It's not that, only. I'm going to say something now I just thought of. Mm-hmm. It's in every relationship the power you can see there's power like with you and me Gilbert mm-hmm. we're friends mm-hmm. but there it, there is a power thing no you're my elder right I, that's how I view it right so there's only so much you can't really truly be yourself in front of me because of the fact that I'll slam you or you know what I mean I know I get right? it right you get so it's like in every so I have that too I'm like that too like if I see Chappelle or Chris Rock you know I'm like okay that obviously they have the power. I like them. They're nice people. But I... Because I, always in a conversation when you have somebody with more power is they have... You know, like the other night we were at... Uh, um, What's her name's party? And we talked to Adam Carolla. Adam Carolla had the power in terms of shifting the conversations to what he wants to talk about. What That's not a bad thing. I'm just saying that, you know, or if I'm around a bunch of open micers, it's generally I'm telling the stories and they're listening. You're so right, though, because I had to sit with Adam Carolla and for 45 minutes about him giving me a list of like every single classic car that's ever existed. Yeah, you I, I couldn't I even. Left her I, I couldn't left her even interject. Bobby already left the conversation a long time ago, and I was just like, "Oh, cool." Yeah, but that's your favorite topic, though. Cars. Classic cars. <laughs> Kalila. Kuhn. Classic cars. Is I, it just power? I feel like it's just respect. You no. Know? Yeah. That's the, the feel of respect. Yeah. But you know, he he is. Somebody that here's another thing is is that Adam Carolla. I used to do his podcast, and I I used to be really bad on his podcast. You, you, what do you mean used by to bad? Be bad? Like yeah, I would, and that's what he only had me on twice. Oh, it's a lot. Usually now, if I if I were to do it again, I would be able to kill it. But back then, it was a long time ago when he first started it, and I was just like just so green at it, and I didn't know what to say, and I didn't know him that well, and. Um, I was dating the first year. I was dating Christine. I think mm-hmm. mm. I remember her going with me to that thing. 
Mm. And um, it just wasn't, um, I was in a really vulnerable um, state in my life and in my career. Mm. I was like, just kind of, anyway. But um, so that's the kind of relationship I have with Bill and some other uh, these guys. But it's not, you know, I love them and it's, we. there's all, you know, like if I'm in New York and I'm with Jim Norton and all those guys and I'm doing a radio show with them. I, I get where I'm at and I get where to kind of give some power back to them, you know? And that's my main reason why I haven't done Rogan is because um, I'm afraid if, if I'm fully myself that it's not going to get through. You mean... Like, yeah. for instance, like his, his view... Wait. His view... Like, uh, for instance, I'll give you an example. His view... On Carlos Mencia is one way, right? Which mm-hmm. is he's a joke thief and he's a piece of shit and all that stuff. Which is, you know, mm-hmm. that that is a part that that's half truthful, right? There are good parts of Carlos, but yeah. they won't see that part, right? Yeah, so I then think- I can't. Whenever I I've been in conversations where I just get railroaded, like that piece of shit, you know what I mean? And it's like I can't. Mm. I can't win. You know? But they're also not able to see the nuance of the way you feel because you had a very, very personal very close. and close mm. relationship with him versus them where he was just another stand-up comic. I understand that, but I've said that to people like that and um, that crew, which I love that crew. I have nothing. I'm not starting a war. Yeah. I'm just being honest. I'm just saying that, you know, I have had conversations and it's literally like, even with Ari and all those guys, it's always like one way, complete and utter. And he is what he did was terrible, mm-hmm. but I I can't forget the fact that he bought me a car mm-hmm. when I had nothing. That's a big that thing. He huge. paid for my electrical bill. That's mm-hmm. huge. A couple of months in a row. I mean, he, I would if I was in a, I was destitute from you know. I need yeah. money on yeah. a basic human level. He it, was there for you on all counts and you've met him you went to his house he's a nice guy and his wife is the sweetest sweet woman. everyone's kids so they're so sweet and but you don't see people for being people you see them as you know just how they are you know as like for instance as a joke thief like once you fixate on that only you really forget the other side of somebody mm-hmm. which is he's a family guy he's mm-hmm. you know he really is to me from what i see a really kind man yeah and who takes care of his family and his friends. Yeah. I mean... But it's um, hard to see that when you're just seeing... Well, I mean, I, it's not stuff. excusing, though. What he did, what he did was... And also, the, all the years of bumping other comics was unforgivable, almost. Mm-hmm. I mean, he did a lot of bad things. But, you know... But, I mean, but here's another thing. Jeff, Jeffrey Dahmer's dad's, dad stood by him the whole time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? There is... He, you can find... That link, you know, Mm -hmm. like if your son ate people, would you stand by him at trial? Yeah, Yeah. I would. Yeah, that's hard. Like, I, you know, it's so fucked up to say, but I do understand where Jeffrey Dahmer's dad, you know, came from. Yeah, I would. He stood by him in interviews, visited him in the prison a lot. I mean, he was there. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. Man, do you know what kind of phone call I got? Remember when you were in Joshua Tree? Yeah. Remember I say like all, not one, there's not one single redeemable male in my family? Oh yeah, I remember this, yeah. Remember I, I, I always say that, right? Yeah. Not one single male in my family that I think is, oh, you're a decent human being. We're very matriarchal. Only the women hustle, only the women kind of. And they're all shitty husbands, they're all shitty dads, they're all abandoners. A lot of all examples of that. of that for sure. Except for one. There was one. Roger. And I was like, you know what, he's actually a sweet guy. Maybe I should help him out start his business because, you know, he has young kids or whatever. And we were in Joshua Tree. I got a phone call from another family member. And she's like, oh, I'm in the police station. I was like, why are you in the police station? She goes, oh, because so-and-so um, got arrested for attempting to rape a woman. The same the same one that I the, oh, the last the last person I thought might have some type of redeemable quality mm. and I told Bobby I was screaming I was like that's it I am so fucking done with every single male in my family 
But if it were my son, I would probably, you know. Did he try to rape her in a bar or what happened? Um, something like, I think she, they were, you know, in, in the Philippines it's different. The drinking situation is like tagay. You mm. kind of just all sit in a circle. You pass a drink around. Yeah. It's very provincial style yeah. of drinking, or at least where they live. And um, I think that she was either giving the alcohol and she thought he was too drunk. So he stopped. She stopped serving him alcohol or something like that. But were there people around? Yeah, there were people around. And then I, they apparently had to like peel him off. <laughs> yeah, but I, my thing is, is this. Is and that she's like a married woman and everything. Isn't one of the rules of that is to do it privately? Oh, someone's calling you. Uh oh, it's Fahim Anwar. Do we even want to pick up? <laughs> he, does have a, he does have a Comedy Central thing coming out, so um, I think he's gonna be a guest pretty soon. <laughs> Hello. Hello, happy birthday, man. Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Good. You're on the podcast. I'm, I'm on. We're live. Yeah. Whoa. So yeah, man, he's about birthday. to. He's about to plug. You've done for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, you're, you're like one of the good ones, dude. Oh, thank you. And I want to say this. Um, when does your special come out? November 27th. So Fahim Anwar and a bunch of other uh, Middle Easterns. <laughs> that's that's a good way to describe it. That's, that. that's how they're marketing it on Comedy Central. <laughs> the best attempt that you've ever made at it? Yeah. What do I, what do I use to call you? <laughs> well. No, that, that works. Uh, yeah, brown guy. Well, yeah, I say brown guys. Maybe that's by my thing. I can do that. Middle Easterns work. Middle yeah. Eastern well, you're Middle Eastern, right? <laughs> Yeah, Middle Eastern, South Asian, like... Uh, well, no, you're not South Asian, but let's just say Middle Eastern. Yeah, Middle Eastern. <laughs> okay, good. Um, so it, there's a sketch show coming out. It's a one-off, but it's one hour. What's it called? It's called Goat Face. Goat Face. Interesting. And um, our friend Aristotle directed him. He's also in the show. Fahim was the head writer. He's also one of the stars of the show. And it's a Comedy Central one hour. It's going to be on television. And, um, yeah, Hassan from The Daily Show's in it. Hassan too. from The Daily Show's in it. And then Asif Ali as well. Yeah, and I saw a couple of sketches Fahim showed me. And so, I, yeah, I didn't show anybody. It was just kind of burning a hole in my pocket. I'm like, man, I want to show somebody this. And we were going to dinner, and I was like, don't tell anybody, but like, can I show you? I showed you two of them. What, am I not allowed to talk about it now, fucker? <laughs> uh, you can talk about it. I am going to. No, I'm going to. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what the thing is. I'm just going to say that I fucking saw it. It's his birthday, Dan. It's my fucking birthday, you fucking Punjab. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, my bad. That's why he's not good on the phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Don't don't delete that. Keep I'm, that in. Okay. Keep that in. Keep it in. So, um, <laughs> do not edit that part out, okay? okay. I, that was an honest emotion. Okay. Then you go, Punjab. So it's called it's so anyway, I saw a couple of sketches and um I cackled out loud. I mean I genuinely laughed out loud and I literally had a an epiphany. I think that this is the next thing. I think oh, it's wow. gonna get picked up as a series. I think this is gonna make you and I think that um I'm just so excited for you, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. It was so cool to see you watch it because like I've been working on it for a long time and you don't know if it's funny anymore. Like, yeah. I've seen it a million times. So to see someone, especially like someone like you, watch it with fresh eyes and enjoy it that much, I was like, it was just really, I'm like, oh, that's a good sign. I was really happy. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, and um, we'd love to have you back on this podcast one day, but I got to go. <laughs> I get it. All right, I love you. Thank <laughs> you so much. Bye bye. Thanks, okay. I get it. I love you guys. I get it. <laughs> I love Fahim. I love Fahim too. <laughs> He's um, the that's a beautiful call. Any woman calling or no? I have no female friends. Your mom called. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a great one. She's she's so funny. Your mom. Yeah, your my mom would comedic be great. genius. Not she's a comedic genius. Not she would introvert. Be. I was no, really she's not. No, she's fucking loud no. as fuck. Y she will keep on talking if you don't. She's a great storyteller too. Great comedic timing. Everything. Yeah, she's very funny. Does she have a lot of friends back in Arizona. Why? What's 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 your business? She has a lot of no. sisters that she's very close with. I feel like she'd be the leader of a group. She's the leader of a fuck many groups, my friend. <laughs> okay, I'm just curious All what the right. groups are. She's, she can't really leave the house often cuz her mm. his dad is um wheelchair bound. <laughs> it, Bobby just <laughs> struck <laughs> Bryce an employee. <laughs> yes. So um is that it? Well, we're over if that's, that's we're over an hour. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow, we should have people food. just call in all the time. This, this is the easiest podcast. Oh, Jade. Podcast. Jade Catapretta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Tell the her pizza. thank you. Thank you for the pizza. Oh, thank, thank you for the pizza. Thank you for the pizza. Oh, hi, Ding Dong. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for the pizza. Hi. Happy 
happy birthday, old man. <laughs> hey, we're all, you're online. You're on the. I mean, you're online. You're, you're on. You're on the podcast, Dad. Right now. I'm online. You're online, Please. bud. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm in my. I'm on the roof on the in the hot tub. So fancy. We're, fancy Hollywood to life. Talk to you guys. Are you in Australia or in LA? She's back here. I'm in LA. I just got back from Brazil on Sunday. Oh, you were in Brazil. Sorry, Australia. She's leaving for us. There she is. She is leaving for Australia. And then now I'm going to Australia in a week. Why are you going to Australia? I'm doing a fucking tour. I'm excited. All right. So if you're Australian, yeah, you know all your fans out there, go see um, Jade Catapretta. Oh, my name, Bobby. Say call, it. Call Jade Catapretta. She's Spell very. It. Spell it. What? Spell my last name. Catapretta. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> Greta. So anyway, so if you're in Australia, check it out. Um, and did, you did some guest yep. starring, right? What what'd you guest star on? Future Man. I'm not, I, you're reoccurring. Weird. I mean, this, this doesn't feel this doesn't feel smooth and like this feels. I don't know. This feels written or something. What? I feel like we should just talk. Yeah, like I feel like we should just talk about life a little bit. <laughs> I've seen you in a while. Interviewing her. You know, you know what, Jade? Like you're gonna, more Jade? No, Jade. You're gonna, when you come on to the fucking podcast, we get, we get into it. This is just surface calling shit. <laughs> okay, surface call. Doing great. Been doing <laughs> Did a show called Future Man. It's on Hulu. It's coming out in January. Go see it. I do. I do a lot of orgies in it. It's fun. <laughs> Yes. Um, I did Life in Pieces. That's pretty great. I, I was just in Brazil. I have a show at the Laugh Factory on the 25th with a, a bunch of Brazilian comics cooking at Basu. Yeah. So, okay, thank you. Ah, I love you. I love, love you. you. Good night. Love you. Bye. Bye okay, that's it. That's the last one. <laughs> She's great. I love is the Jay. pizza good? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Yeah, I'm, I haven't eaten yet. What so. kind is it? I have bacon, cheese. Wine. So it's a Hawaiian real good bacon, real good. But oh, you eat, it's like, really nice. expensive mm-hmm. Italian already. So, um, that's that, and, um... Wrap it up. Tell us how you feel. Yeah, well, I'm, I am. I'm sure. trying to do it. I'm trying to do it right now. Um, well, one quick question, though. Yeah, go ahead. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. He's 47. Hello, I just got a cat, and I really want to call it kimchi. However, I can't tell if it's racist or not. <laughs> Please provide insight. I don't think she's Korean. Okay, no, not Korean. So let's say a white person. Yeah, calling their let's cat say kimchi. someone that looks like George. With I would say KC. Call it KC, but it's kimchi at home. Also, be closeted racist. It's not racist. It's, Louis, not racist. it's Louis Katz. You know Louis Katz? Maybe I do. Do you know Louis Katz? I don't know who's scheduling the calls, uh, Bobby. I don't know. <laughs> Louis. Hey, how are you? Hi. Um, <laughs> you're on my podcast right now, by the way. I am. Yeah, right now you are. Right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, <laughs> so Louis Katz um, is a comic. He moved to New York, and now do you live here now? Uh, kind of. Like, what do you, when you mean kind of? Well, I'm going. I'm kind of going back and forth a lot. Why are you in L.A.? You a show? Uh, um, well, uh, my girlfriend wants to be here more, so I'm going to try and be here more with her. Mm. That's can I, Louis, you. when you fucking moved there in the first place. I was uh, like, why the fuck are you moving? This kid is so fucking funny. You know that bit. You know I still do that bit sometimes that you helped me write, which is that Down syndrome people making love joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that one? It sounds great. Classic. Yeah, I know, but it sounds great. Yeah, Classic. yeah, yeah. I like it already. Yeah, when they make love, they make up their own moves. They touch butts for three minutes. I love it. <laughs> right. One, one, the press goes in the armpit, wank it, wank it, wank it, like that. You know what I mean? Wank the wank it, wank it. <laughs> I, I, also, so you're doing very well, though. I saw you on um, th- that Comedy Central storytelling show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've it's seen you in other things. So congratulations, Louis. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you have better things going on. But um, Let him greet you. Let's let's get together um, soon. I'm just, yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, I guess I'll, yeah. I don't know, I'll, is this... Are you, I'm really on a podcast right now. Yeah, I, uh, it's called Tiger Belly. It's pretty popular. Okay, cool. Oh, can I can I plug something then? Yeah, plug something. <laughs> <laughs> plug it. Uh, I, got, I got a new album coming out uh, October 26. So <laughs> okay, good. Louis Katz, October 26, new album. Great birthday gift. <laughs> All right, it's my birthday today too. Just, can you just say happy birthday or no? Happy birthday. No, thank you. Thank you. Bye, Louis. Bye. Okay, that's it.
Wait, that one we didn't plan. I don't know who that I know. is. He's so a guy. I'm is. telling and you. He got why. in on the right time. He got to plug Can I just say something right now? So Louis Katz mm-hmm. is legitimately fucking funny as fuck. Louis yeah. Katz. He's so talented. Anyway, give me the mess. Quick question. Uh, well, kimchi, was, kimchi. The kimchi. Yeah. So you, you, do you think it's racist? I, racist? I don't think it's racist at all. Okay, so she can call it kimchi. It's food. That's it's what food. I, that's what I think too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I don't it's, think it's yeah, racist. It's like naming a cat sriracha. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or Kung Pao. Kung Pao chicken. Yeah. My, I have my friend Brisa. Her cat's name is Chicken. Hello, Tiger Belly fan. There's another there. one? Oh, do you want another one? Yeah, another I might as well. It's, Fuck it. We're going to keep it animal related. All right. Hello, t- hello, Tiger Belly family. Hello. I've noticed that you guys are pet lovers like me. Recently, I got an eight-week-old kitten with my boyfriend, who I've been living with for only four months, but been together for two years. This is our first pet together. Naturally, the kitten is playful and mischievous and likes to poke around places he probably shouldn't. My boyfriend has never had a cat, but I noticed that he's very impatient with all animals and gets angry. I'm afraid that he is not going to be a nice to the kid, and it makes me think maybe he's not the guy I thought him to be. My question is, how did Bobby become the animal lover he is now, and is there hope for my boyfriend to be the oh, same? Well, can I say this? This is Nessa. Mm, that's a really important question. It's a very important question. I have a very important answer to life. Is, you know, when I saw Ming for Are the you? very first time, mm-hmm. I loved it. He loved her. Yeah. And um, when, Kate, when Ming came to my house, and stayed with me for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. It was the most exciting and most important thing in my life. It, I, I honestly believe that the a- animals in my life have changed me. It's made my life fuller. And I absolutely and utterly adore my animals to the point of almost obsession. Mm. I love them like they're humans. I think they're so cute. I, I know their personalities. And they do mistakes, but um, yeah, I mean, I don't get angry. I, 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 I'm grateful. Now, do you think this guy can get to that same place? No. You know, um, be a, was that would be a deal because I, 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 th- I think that it is an inherent human quality. It's not something that's Yeah, it's that's like, learned. you know how you can tell, like, you know Richard Kuklinski, um, the um, Iceman? Iceman. The guy who killed, like, oh. a shit ton of people. The movie, mm-hmm. yeah. One of the first indicators of him being imbalanced was the way he treated animals. I'm not saying your boyfriend's imbalanced, but I am, I am saying, like, at least, at the very least for me, some people have different, um, you know, things that turn them off. Mm-hmm. For me, the biggest turn off is a man who doesn't have empathy for animals um even even if they're not mean but if they're completely apathetic to animals i don't i'm turned off by that i dated a guy who was apathetic to animals and he had a good reason to be apathetic is because his dad had like six german shepherds and basically loved the dogs more than him so that wasn't even a good enough excuse for me i i just got turned off because i know that i i can't i love them so much that i need to share that love with somebody else and with me and bobby it's so easy but I don't know. That's a tough one. For me, that would be a major red flag. Yeah. Just, But that's just me. Yeah. Congratulations, John Mulaney, for winning an Emmy, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah I love him. It's a big thing. Um, tell us. Come on. Wrap this up I have one last us. thing that I want to say. Okay. Um, and this is, it's just, it's, this is a non sequitur. Mm-hmm. There's really nothing. I just, and, and I'm, I, I'm going to end it weird, all right? And, and I don't, don't get angry, mm-hmm. right? But Brett Kavanaugh, mm-hmm. oh, the judge. No. Just listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his birthday. Oh, okay. It's my birthday. I get to do what I want. Okay. okay. <laughs> I uh, like, do I believe? Uh, do I? Does he share my ethnics? No. I does he? I, he's yeah. everything that he believes. I disagree with. But that shit with that high school girl. It's it's in high. I, I just it's not a high school girl. It was it, during high school. During high school. Mm-hmm. That when it's, he was that's a little school. too far back for me. Yeah, Dang. Bobby is saying that. You know, this is a man who's already how old is he? And well into his fifties, maybe. Yeah. And to wow. bring back something that happened in high school is a little too far back for me. How old is he right now? He's I know, but he's still a long time. I just don't think teenagers curious. have a fully formed brain. Yeah, I mean, it's just, no. it's just it's it's it, high school. Uh, come on, guys. All right, but that's all I have to say about that. Thank you. Happy birthday. Um. <laughs> You know, uh, are you touched? Are you happy? I'm touched. I'm happy. I'm lit. Um, I'm <laughs> open. I'm slept. I'm woke. I'm everything. Okay. 
I'm going to go into space for a second just to get into space. Yeah. Do we have any ads? We do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's do that. We'll do that. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, I'll see you the next year when I'm 40 something. Bye. <laughs> Happy birthday to Bobby, guys. Um, thanks Happy to birthday, our Pops. thanks to our sponsors uh, for the podcast. We'd uh, like to, you know, thank Ridge Wallets. So make sure for that Slim Sleek Carry Wallet. If you want to have Blade Runner in your pocket, make sure you check out RidgeWallet.com and use the promo code TigerBelly. And to get your first three meals free, go to BlueApron.com slash belly. And if you want ad-free, as George puts it, premium episodes every Monday, check out our Patreon at Patreon.com slash TigerBelly. I'm going to read what George wrote. He says, these will be special audio episode only available if you are a member. Sign up for $5 a month for access. That's only one twenty-five per episode. That's less than the cost of a cappuccino or a dream water or a three-pound papaya. Only at Patreon.com slash TigerBelly. Mexican papaya or Hawaiian papaya? George. Hawaiian papaya forever. You wrote it, George. Hawaiian papaya. Hawaiian papaya. And also, make sure you check out our iTunes and review us. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Hey, you talk, took way too long, man. We're at the end of the podcast now. <laughs> everyone also, everyone else called in country. Bill Burr. Bill Burr called on time. Everyone called on time. <laughs> I know it's you. It's Stevie Weedy, but I'm not going to <laughs> Stevie Weavy, what's up? Well, I'm your brother. <laughs> oh, hey, Steve, how's it going? That's kind of like the other phone call. Yeah. yeah. We met down in San Diego when we were kids. I know, I remember. I remember because you're my brother. We grew up there. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Um, well, look, so. Um, I, I've been trying to get you as a guest on the Stevie Weeby show. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, we, we've had almost everybody but you. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. But Theo, yeah. thanks for calling in. I love you so much. You know that, brother. I love you too, man. And uh, I just, you're one of the sweetest guys. You've done a lot of nice things for me, man, and I'll never forget it. And not, uh, But not that. We're, we're going to continue to do stuff together. I know that. I mean, I know you're only awake two hours a day. When you're awake. You're the fucking best, brother. You're the best too. Okay, Theo. Good night. All right, I love you. <laughs> I love you <laughs> Good night. I mean, come on. That's it. <laughs> Smile, Bobby. Smile I don't for the do camera. Boners. You know what? I'm really impressed by how well this actually went. I thought it was mm-hmm. great. You're yeah. great. No, I I thought for sure that nine out of ten phone yeah. calls would fail, but it didn't. Only Theo's did. Yeah, he uh, he was probably just doing a. Doing a set, so it took him a little while to get yeah. the uh, text. Yeah, you'll probably yeah. get some more calls throughout the night. No, nah, well, uh, nah, there's Maybe. one I told him to cancel it, so who, yeah. Who also is it? He canceled it. Um, since I don't have Delia's number, I couldn't get a hold of him beforehand, so I had his producer text him. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, sir. That, I'm sorry for getting hurt. No, no. Awesome. Happy birthday, Bobby. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hug. <laughs> they didn't even get a thank you we're like uh, two hours of scrambling to get all these numbers got, he's busy he's busy he's got a th- he's we're got still a, rolling he's got a we're still morning. rolling why are you clapping we're still rolling this is the end we forgot oh. to tell you guys we can follow Kalila okay Kalila where can we follow oh you oh my god which one of you motherfuckers farted be honest just also tell not us me. and we're not smelling your butt we'll just smell say smell my butt it was <laughs> Bryce <laughs> it was Bryce I never fart wow I actually believe that you look like an AC <laughs> Slater like I love a... that shirt <laughs> Yeah, you don't look like you uh, fart much. Yeah, you get in the hot seat, Bryce. If Gilbert's going to keep it rolling. Kalala, yeah. where can we... Any shout-outs? Because I know we ended abruptly. We're back anyway, so any shout-outs? Yeah. Um, m- one of my best friends just had a baby, and I... Um, Same friend I know? Gardo. Okay, good. I just want to make sure. You, said, yeah, yeah, you didn't yeah. say his name, so I was like, what? Privacy, Gardo. you know? Oh, sorry. He just had a baby, and Very beautiful. so freaking excited beautiful for baby. them. Beautiful baby. Although, is it weird that when I held the baby and as much as I was in awe of another little human that was half Shelly, half Gardo, and I was in awe. I mean, like, I had, like, goosebumps on my body. Is it weird that my ovaries didn't kick? No. Is it weird that I actually didn't feel any, like, I didn't feel the need to have one? No. Okay, good. But you're Thank going you. to. Oh, what, is it a forced situation? This is Handmaid's forced. Tale? This is Handmaid's <laughs> We're recreating that for you. We love that show. Oh, great. I can't fucking wait. 
also i had one more shout out and then i forgot can i do a shout out yeah 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 i just because i had to i wasn't there with and joshua tree when you guys did the patreon i was laughing so hard when i was editing it when i heard uh that you, that bobby ramley called your friend from the philippines <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, when that when i heard that i heard you yell and you changed your whole tone i felt my hand sweating for you because it was like it was like you know you're always like really low-key like bobby who are you calling like don't you're freaking me out and you heard the person you're like oh dude dude oh man dude i'm so sorry dude like dude like we should like hit surfing up dude dude like dude like we're gonna hang out and like hit the beach dude i was like she's so nervous she said dude 50 times but also do you you guys know that you reserve you have many voices in your life right that's your filipino dude that's that is that's my my <laughs> surfer voice. Your surfer trying to be cool but also like nervous. <laughs> That's embarrassed. Like I haven't spoken to that person in so long. And the last time I spoke uh, to him, I flaked. Like the, the last time he was like, "Oh yeah, we surfing today," and then I just never like showed up. So and then that was that was like two years ago. And all of a sudden, Bobby takes my phone oh my and calls God. this person. And he answered. And he answered. That I was, was like, "Fuck!" But he like picked up like it was ch- so chill. Like, well, he's from the Philippines, you know. I mean, he's he didn't sound Filipino. He sounded very like Long Beach or like surfer town. Well, he's lived here for a while now, but he's from Cebu. Oh, okay. Yeah, but um, oh, you so guys funny. should go listen to that Patreon. But do you guys have that? But like, you switch. You have a voice. You were like, caught my- off guard too, so mm-hmm. it like you kicked it. Yeah, into I have overdrive. white and whiter. Yeah, white and whiter. <laughs> I have a voice for ordering fast food. People tell me I what is fast it? food. I, I can't do. I have to do the fast food window. I don't know. I just I change my voice changes somehow. Yeah. Like a higher register or a lower, more serious or like softer and friendlier. Clear. I usually mumble, but I'm very clear and oh, very. Yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah. I, I talk. Project. I talk slower at fast food because yeah. I want my food perfect, yeah. and then also on customer service, I'm very eloquent and I take my time with them because mm-hmm. I don't want them to fuck it up. And as a vegetarian, it's very important to get the order right. So I was like, you know, a meat burger? Oh, man, I have to go back to McDonald's. And yeah. so it's, yeah, that's probably why, yeah. Huh, I, um, Dan, if you've ever... Dude, I can't believe I missed your phone call, Dan. I should have asked you to edit that part out. Ah, that's in so there. embarrassing. There should that be a segment? We, we just Where each week we calls. take no we take turns though so Bobby God, takes one of our phones it's like oh, man, then I take me. one of you guys' phones oh, yeah. and call well, that should be a new segment that's scary mm-hmm. for me it's very makes my armpit even thinking about it makes my oh, armpit sweat it. yeah it's you like, are so open to that I'm more like there's people I've not talked since high school yeah because some of the people are from like when I did my preceptorship at the hospital so random it's or like my old professors that in you know what I mean like I have bosses on there yeah so like, what if he calls, like, Maura McGee? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like she's, like, the nicest older lady ever. Oh, Hilarious. it was so fucking embarrassing. But if you hear me talk to my family, I sound like a little girl. You talk a little... Oh, like a little si- fucking baby. I noticed with your sister, you're a Like little, a baby. So, yeah, a little more whiny Hi, side. Hi, wee ones. Very whiny. Yeah, I'm a baby. I just don't know how to talk to her like this. Because <laughs> yeah. she's my at this. She's, my, she's older than me, so I always see... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Your mom. Mom, I yeah, talk to. A little different. My mom, I feel like I just have to More always like, like scold her. <laughs> so it's like, no, so I, I noticed that you're always like, hey, I get hey, come on, mom, hey. Because you know she says things that she doesn't mean in a bad way at all, but it just comes off. It's just something your parents like laugh about. For instance, she was like, you know, I was just laughing with Roger. I said, Roger, I have two really pretty daughters, but no one wants to marry them. Ha 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 ha. Like that, but that, that was such a good impression of your mom's voice. So she spot on. Sent that sent me into a fucking spiral. Like I was like, like fucking smoke was coming out of my ears. Like you think that my my worth hinges upon my marital status, but she meant it in such a mm-hmm. like a silly way, and in a jokey Struck way. She just thought that she would share a joke that she was proud of. Yeah, serious McGee over here. But I took it, I mean, I was like nearing my period or something and I fucking flipped out. I was like, Ma, you're hurting my feelings. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my goodness, my mother, I love her. She's the best, but she fucking angers me so much. Mother-daughter relationships. Oh, God. Um, Well, yeah, guys. We did it. I think that was a success. Nothing. Like, I was telling George, and I, t- I was like, "Call me." I was like, "Get ready, another classic uh, Tiger Belly last minute planning situation, <laughs> or oh, never plan anything." There's no way to plan beforehand, but it works out better, well, I think, sometimes. That's it worked out. It worked Our out. original plan was to go to the um, spaghetti factory, right? Mm-hmm. Is yeah. that still a plan? We wanted to. 
do um, a, yeah, if we can do some depending on Bobby's schedule. But oh, that's right. Because we weren't playing Wednesday, but we know he has. It's, recording a podcast at Spaghetti Factory will be a little bit of a shit show, but it'll be fun. Yeah, or we just eat it, eat it here. Who knows? So, but you would only know if you checked out our Patreon. That's right. Dig it for George. We've plugged it enough. We've plugged it All enough. All right, George. George is waiting at me behind the camera, guys, just so you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Kalila, where can we follow you? At Calamity K. K H. I think I spelled it wrong. Yep, you just definitely <laughs> spelled it wrong. I missed like six letters. Let's try. Okay, hey, we're going to. I'm like K T Y. We're going <laughs> to edit this out. Uh, <laughs> hey, Kalila, where can we follow you, dude? <laughs> Let me think about it. The spelling. The spelling we champ. Remember the first Patreon we did? Where I was like, you guys are fucking stupid. This is how you spell camaraderie. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I got that shit all wrong. That was so, did you ever get to listen to what I did to that? No. Oh, I slowed it down. <laughs> <laughs> and I, re- I replayed it three times. I went, camaraderie. I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> you haven't heard? You didn't hear it? <laughs> well, guys, one second, we're talking about stuff people, some people haven't heard. Just check Can it out, though. I'll send you the clip. I'll send you the clip. <laughs> So fucking funny. I'm a fucking genius from Cebu. Uh, I just repeated that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's oh, so you were funny. There for that one. Were you not, man? I felt so fucking stupid. That's oh. what I get. I deserve that. I deserve that humiliation. Hey, it's a hard word. Let's be honest. Okay, let me spell my own handle right. It's K H A L A M I T Y K. Genius from Cebu. Hashtag geni- start that hashtag, everyone. Genius from Cebu. Uh, Bryce, where can we follow you, and uh, what have you been up to? You Bryce, have 30 seconds. At Bryce Halleck. Not to be confused with at Bryce Hal. That fucker. All right, 10 at seconds Bryce left. Halleck. 10 seconds. What are you doing right now? How's your um, love life? Five. Not enough. Four. Not enough. <laughs> Hire me. I need a job. I need a job. Te- text him for yeah. love or job offers. Love Those offers, things. job Absolutely. offers. Absolutely. Not Sexual offer? That's weird. Sexual offers. Sure. Uh, George. George underscore Kimmel on Instagram. How's your love life? Well, five seconds. Uh, it could be more. It could <laughs> always be more. And guys, you can oh, follow. It's about to get compl- yeah, complicated. You, ooh, comp- George's in a complicated Facebook status. Ew, you you do those? It's complicated on Facebook? Who does anything on Facebook anymore? I'm no, just I'm, thinking. I'm, I'm just saying like. Complicated. Those, I don't understand I, that you should really. Oh, yeah, irk me we're just, when we're people just would put it's complicated on Facebook. Oh, no. I'm like, you're trying you to fucking have people ask you what's complicated about mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And, it's uh, always fucking complicated. Yeah. But also, make sure you uh, follow us on Instagram at Tiger Belly. Pizza uh, yeah. yeah, I want some pizza too. Babe, and, you're hungry again? No, I'll just leave, save it for later. You, you gave him a, a meat cake. <laughs> No, he had a ligament. tomahawk well, pork chop. No, oh, sweetie, he's sorry. He's gonna cry later. Sweetheart, yeah, I was just trying to get it, so I picked it up. sweetie, can you pass the the stuff from Chispaka? Okay. Should I try it on here? Well, yeah, oh my god, it's so good. That tomahawk pork chop. Shall I try it? I mean, yeah. I, <laughs> hey, it looks I good. Try it? Oh, should I try it? Shall Henry? I, how shall Henry Golding eat some? Right here, I just lick the fat. Is that does that count, Bryce? <laughs> If I just lick the fat. Well, I'm going to start ending this and I'll try that so people are not annoyed by us eating. Uh, And make sure you follow Bobby and all his tour dates and everything you need to know about him at BobbyLeeLive.com. And once again, make sure you follow me at Henry Goldie. Have a good night.